This is a tutorial on using Wikipedia for academic research papers. Many teachers will say don't use Wikipedia. What they mean is don't cite Wikipedia in your paper. Wikipedia is a very good place to go to start your paper, to find links to academic sources, and to help you define your paper. This tutorial will show you how to do that. In your philosophy class, your teacher has mentioned that the films of David Cronenberg illustrate the mind-body problem. We can use Wikipedia to find out details about the mind-body problem and about David Cronenberg. So we start really from the English page. From the main page, we simply type in mind-body problem in the search box, click go. Wikipedia has a very good system of cross-references. They don't call it mind-body problem, they seem to call it mind-body dichotomy. This is a typical Wikipedia article. The top part really defines the question. What do we mean by the mind-body dichotomy? Some of the people you can use, you can research René Descartes, you can research Plato, but largely speaking the best aspect for this is to go to the external links. The external links have two aspects, notes and citations, bibliography, and then see also. If we click on this one, which is a live link, we can see a paper called The Mind-Body Problem by Robert M. Young. There's no particular way of knowing where it's from. When we look at the URL, we can see its papers from a site called humannature.com. As we look at it, we can see that it is reasonably scholarly. There are notes. When we go right to the bottom, we see the notes, we see the further reading. So this is reasonably academic and should be able to be used in a paper. The other resources you see a lot on Wikipedia are links to books. For example, here's one, Problems in the Philosophy of Mind or this one, Psychobiology. When they link an, I an ISBN, when you click on it, it goes to a different place in Wikipedia called Book Sources. And it shows you at the bottom how to actually track it down. You could find to look at it up at WorldCat, you could go to Google Book, there's a number of places, or you could just actually take the title of the book and search it in your own catalog on your local library. Wikipedia has see also other particular things you can look at in Wikipedia or other articles, and they also have cross references within Plato's idea of dualism and materialism. So when you see these live links within a Wikipedia article, these are sources, places to go that would get you actually more help. Let's now search our second idea, David Cronenberg films of David Cronenberg. So we type it in the search box and then go. Wikipedia's links again show us there's a number of Cronenbergs we want David Cronenberg. So when the article comes up, it's similar. The very beginning is introduction to Cronenberg. But what we do see here is is a cross-reference. It's called the body horror genre. In many ways, this might be what the teacher was referring to in the mind-body problem. What we can do is click directly on that link. And here is quite a long article about body horror that we can track down, and it follows similar ways. We can go to external links, which will show us notable persons who also use body horror in their art, and also other terms we could use, body modification, biopunk, etc. So these are other ideas, other links, other terms that allow you to modify your search from your original idea, mind-body problem, to this as it's at manifest in Cronenberg or in other other artists. The other aspect of what Wikipedia is doing is they're actually starting to link when a particular article they have does not have any references or sources, so they know about this problem. As And as you look at articles in Wikipedia, some articles now are starting to get references or sources. So this example is actually changing. You may be able to find quite good material in Wikipedia as it develops. So in summary, use Wikipedia to get started in your paper as a source for finding good links for very useful academic material.